quick video for you guys. So on one of the most recent streams, we went a little bit deep into talking about real estate and my involvement in real estate. So I'm into investments on rentals, flips, and future endeavors. I definitely want to get into more of the development side, but currently rentals, flips, and things like that. And the driving force behind that wasn't solely, oh, get an opportunity to make a bunch of money. The driving force was I come from not having financial liter literacy. In my, my childhood, I wasn't taught about investing. I wasn't taught about the power of assets and what building a portfolio can do. I didn't come from any of that. My financial education was put your money in a shoebox and put your money under the mattress and that's it and pay everything with cash. That was pretty much the extent of my knowledge, right? But as you start growing up, you start seeing people or even just looking around, you start to see your neighborhood just start to change. If you lived anywhere for around 10 years, the neighborhood, your block, you start to see just new homes kind of going up or that old home that was on the corner, now it's all pristine and looks great and now it's worth X amount of dollars. So I just always had this curiosity about real estate and how it works, no matter what's happening in the world, homes are still being bought, they're still being built, what's going on? So eventually I started running into people who were an agent, a wholesalers, things like that. But I just thought I, didn't, I still didn't have the capability to do it. I think that's something with anything that you're trying to do. It's going to start in your head that you have to have the belief that you could do it and you belong. And you have the capability to do it. That's where that self-esteem is going to come into play. That you may not have the information because it's just information. It's not you, the person. Okay? You, the person, is going to be, are you going to be disciplined and committed to learning the information or executing, right? But we all have the capability to be greater than what we are now. And a lot of times it's just lack of information or who is delivering the information. And that was me. I just didn't know. I didn't feel, I didn't know anybody who looked like me in the space. You know, I didn't see me in it. So I was just still like, ah. To shied away from me. But eventually I'm like, all right, now it's just bothering me. <laughs> I don't know many homeowners, but I'm seeing all these homes being bought. I'm like, all right, I want to start making a change here. I want to start making a difference here. So I just started to research. I said to myself, I'm going to make a commitment to break and change this narrative because I'm just, because I was like, well, am I just going to stay like this and just keep on guessing and keep wondering how people are doing this and okay, another year goes by, I'm still thinking the same thing. Another year goes by, I'm still thinking the same thing and not taking action. Let's take action. And that's exactly what I did. I just took action. How do you get a rental property? What is a rental property? How does it work? Once I just had the understanding, I was off to the races. Now I had an idea of proper questions to ask, proper things to Google, proper things to YouTube. And then, all right, let's make the change. And that's how it really started. It just became almost, it was bothering me that I'm seeing all these things happen and I'm not taking action. I'm not, I can do better to at least figure it out. Now, mind you, it wasn't just, I went from not knowing information to now, oh, okay, I'm in it. I have my rental properties. It took time. But the step wasn't really the hardest step. And what can save you a lot of time is just saying to yourself, I want to start. I want to start executing. I want to make a difference. I want to make a change. It was bothering me that much because I wanted to then say, hey, I have assets too. I want to be able to add value to somebody who is just getting started. I understand where they're at. Let me help. And mind you, I'm not a big dog and I still got ways to go. But hey, I remember when I had nothing. I you know, starting at zero or just starting at a question. So that person who's in that same boat, okay, I get it. I know I get it. I know what you're thinking. Let me just add a little value. Hey, you may want to look into this. And from that point on, it's just been off to the races. So I want to start doing more videos and let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. I know a few guys in, in the streams have been, but I'm going to put it out regardless. 
but just getting some feedback from you guys will help me curate it just a little bit more on where I want to begin the videos and kind of how I want to, like I said, curate it. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's it. Quick video, but I just wanted to share that with you guys that the driving force in real estate and why I'm so passionate about it. Yeah. It was just something that I wanted to break almost, I won't say it's a curse. I don't want to go down that path, but I wanted to change the narrative. I wanted to make a difference and I wanted to be able to help. The more information that I'm able to attain and executing and having the receipts to prove it and show it, I can then share it with others.